growth. But you're saying post-traumatic growth. growth. Like growth. That is the big mm-hmm. uh, issue you're talking about here. Well, it, 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 in one way, it, it reflects sort of a a uh, a change in the way we think about PTSD right. and trauma in general, and also the way we think about growth. I mean, all of those things are are that there's a there's a shift in the zeitgeist about what we should shouldn't do and whatnot in the therapy. And I have an example okay. which may be a bit of a stretch. Okay. I thought I'd bring it in. I want to make sure you talk a little bit about uh, post traumatic stress and the definition of that for our well, we'll our, do a little bit. Right. But I want to make we want sure to be able to think get to that trauma. Right. We got to define trauma before okay. we can die. What Excellent. define? So we, thank you. But you guys, you guys heard of uh, this guy with the name of Nick Cave? Ever heard of Nick Cave in the Bad Seeds? Okay, he has a new album out called Ghostine. Well, about two years ago, his 12-year-old son was killed. Oh, it was um, pretty tragic. And so uh, this is his first album after his son's passing away. And um, in a way, it's him attempting to grapple with that loss. Right. Right? Right. And I recommend anybody go out and give it a listen. It is, um, it is phenomenal. But however, um, you know some albums are wonderful, but you're not sure you want to hear them more than once? Yes. So this could be that sort of album. Could be that. So yes. let me just say that you, you, the, your eyes will not be dry. And it's not like he ever directly addresses. He never mentions. There are all these, these sort of uh, f- allusions to his son. Uh, um, a, a small white ghost dancing. He mentions that several times at the end of the world. Uh, and then one of the songs, he, the lyric is, um, um, I'm here where I am. And you are there where you are, um, and just moments like that, sort of, sort of, right. you know, give you a, a, an example of some of what goes on there. But I think that's an example of um, of the potential for doing something, of being forced to either grow or diminish in the face of some sort of traumatic event, and maybe that's what's asked of us. In every moment of trauma. Maybe that's, a, we'll, that's a very interesting mm. concept, that mm. that moment in there when you're dealing with trauma, uh, you can go either way. You can, you know, mm. you can make that move toward mm. uh, depression and, mm. you know, uh, that path, or you can work your way through it. So, There's a, one of my favorite uh, Dylan quotes. Uh, um, pass me the salt. No, that, that he's, I'm sure he said that a couple uh, times. Yeah, but <laughs> one of my favorite Dylan quotes One of mine, was, too, by the way. Thank <laughs> yeah. you. But he said, the, the emptiness is endless, cold as the clay. You can always come back, but you can't come back all the way. Uh, so okay. so yeah. we, when we talk about this notion of growth and diminishment, we may have to sort of, there's a caveat there that your uh, scar tissue may ensue. So, right, mm-hmm. right. Never fully recover from mm-hmm. those kinds of situations. Again, think about my wedding night. Yes, I'm sure. I know. It's, uh, it's trauma for... Now for all of us, it's, it's not, it used to <laughs> well, just be for you. And, I, I've, and I've, where do you wife, see the but, video? That's all I got to say. 